when the sun rises I wake up and chase my dreams I won't regret when the sun sets Cause I live my life like I'm a beast I'm a motherfucking beast Good morning, you guys. So it is, what, Tuesday, July 9th, and it is almost 10 a.m. I woke up just an hour ago. That is the most I've slept in in so long. Um, my face. I got little chubby cheeks. Um, I slept in just because Tony and I didn't get to bed until like 2 a.m. Um, due to some things we had to take care of and we both agreed we weren't setting an alarm we were just gonna wake up whenever and we both tend to not get a lot of sleep we go to bed at like 9 9 30 8 30 if we're lucky like if 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 we're lucky because that's when we would ideally like to go to bed because i get up at four about just about sometimes a little bit earlier sometimes 10 minutes later um and then tony is up at like 4 35 so we generally don't get enough sleep for as much as we do um and the level that we do it at and i think that's why i've been having a lot of trouble with my weight um i did get my blood work done and um my white blood cell count was high and then it just so happens I've been having some gut issues, so I'm gonna be getting a stool test. I'm not very excited <laughs> for that, but I wanna see what's going on inside my gut so I can kind of figure that out. So I think between the lack of sleep and um, the fact that I'm having gut issues is not helping me lose any weight. Plus, it just hasn't been the time for me to lose weight as much as I want to. But Tony and Doyle have kind of been on me about the fact that I diet too much and I want to lose weight too much. And I just need to kind of like accept my body where it's at. Like I like to eat. I'm a baker. And like... Yeah, I don't always need a diet, especially because when it comes to bodybuilding, I um, I need to grow. So like, I need to. I'm not gonna grow if I'm always trying to diet and lose weight. So I just kind of have to accept it. When the sun rises, I wake up and chase my dreams. I won't regret when the sun sets, cause I live my life like I'm a beast. I'm a motherfucking beast. I 
definitely don't look bad by any means. Um, traveling, of course, I ate like an asshole. So if I can like get that under control and not eat like an asshole, then like that would be good. Um, I do feel like I've gotten better with it. Now when I have cheat meals, I don't eat until I'm in physical pain. I just kind of eat until I'm satisfied and then I'm done. Um, my trick is, is uh, I'll take a few bites of whatever I want and I give the rest to Tony. I've also been learning that it's okay to throw food away. Um, I was always taught to finish what's on my plate and wasting has always been not my favorite thing to do, um, but like it's kind of what you have to do. You gotta just throw it away because if I don't throw it away then I keep eating it. Um, so I just throw it away and I do not take home uh, leftovers when we go out to eat. I just say like, no thank you. Um, and if I don't like something, I don't keep eating it just to eat it. If I feel like it's almost like not worth the calories, then I throw it away. But anyways, I am up late, later, way later than I would have liked. What, five hours later, late? Um, but I also went to bed at 2 a.m. So I'm just kind of going through my normal morning routine. In a way, things kind of were a little different because I actually have quite a few orders that I need to get ready to go out today for cook for like cookies and treats. Um, so that's not ideal for like not waking up early. So I had to get something in the oven kind of right away and pull out ingredients that I need for the next things. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna read a little bit, drink my coffee. Um, I kind of ate off plan last night just because I didn't get to eat. We were doing, taking care of stuff. And I, I had only brought one extra meal with me, and so when we got home, I was hungry and cranky. Not that that's an excuse, but hey, I'm human. I'm not prepping for a show right now. The only thing that really irritates me is that I did hire a coach, a prep coach, and I feel like I'm just disappointing him and kind of disappointing myself, but sometimes there's other stuff in life that's more important than bodybuilding which is a really hard pill for me to swallow because I've always been like, oh, there's no excuses, get your shit done, but I guess I'll have to stop saying that, right? Because sometimes things happen, um, but that's okay. Just to get back on it today. Um, I'm probably missing a couple of meals today and I'm just going to be okay with that because I ate a little bit of extra calories last night. Probably a lot, not a little. Um, but just because it sucks being a small girl with a big appetite. Um, because my calories are way lower than what I can consume. Um, they're not low by any means. Like I'm not hungry when I eat my macros. but. I could eat. I could eat. Which is also why I've gained weight. Because I could eat. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'll probably ramble again later. Um, because I got to read. Speaking of reading, this is the book I'm reading right now. Girl, stop apologizing. Um, my friend Amelia let me borrow her book, Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis, and I loved it. It's definitely been helping me in like the phase that I'm in with life right now. And so I bought her second book. Love it. So I definitely recommend it um, for any hardworking girls out there who are also realizing that they are human um, and aren't always perfect. But time to read. Talk to you later.